there, neighbor. Julie Stonefelt here, coming to you from my homestead in the Snoqualmie Valley of Washington State. It's getting into uh, October in the fall and the nice cold, wet weather, which is a perfect time for growing mushrooms. And today I'm gonna talk to you about setting up a mushroom bed. This is sort of an impromptu project for us. Um, it wasn't on our master plan for this year, but we ended up with some material that is really good for growing mushrooms and we thought this would be a great time to give it a try. So there's three things that you'd need to set up a mushroom bed. I'm gonna tell you what those are and then show you how we put it together. So the type of mushroom that we're growing is wine caps. I've never grown them before, I've never even had a chance to eat them, but we love wild foraging mushrooms and eating cultivated mushrooms, so we thought it would be a good thing to try. Um, and they're, they're a beginner mushroom, they're really easy to grow. So the three things that you need that we're using, first one, the most important one, is this mushroom spawn. And we got our mushroom spawn from Field and Forest Products. And what this is, is a hardwood sawdust that's mixed with mycelium. Mycelium is the vegetative part of a fungus um, that grows. So it's a little bit like seeding your bed with this. Um, and then we need what it eats. So like vegetative or green plants, they use the soil and the sun to get their nutrients to grow. Whereas fungus uh, uses dead plants, rotting things, decomposing them to produce the fruit, which is the mushroom. So the things that we're using to feed this mushroom spawn are sawdust, or I'm sorry, uh, straw <laughs> right here, uh, which we have a few bales left over from mulching our beds. And then uh, you can use sawdust or you can use dead wood or wood chips. And this is left from us doing some clearing on our land. So we're gonna layer this in with the spawn and this wonderful rain that's starting to come down is gonna help to keep it nice and damp for us. So, so we're gonna show you next how to put these three things together in order to make a bed. All right, so here we have the outline of our bed. Uh, it's about, about 30 feet outlined with the wood and then a layer of straw. We have a five pound bag of mycelium, which can cover anywhere from 25 to 50 square feet. And so this might not always be, or this size be feasible for people. You can actually do a raised bed, a small raised bed, and layer it in with mycelium in a smaller space if you're in an urban or suburban area. Or you can even grow mushrooms inside. So you can um, order special kits that are kind of like this five pound bag, where you grow them directly in the bag on a shelf or a counter or in a garage. So there's lots of different options if you don't have the space and the capacity to do something this big. But this is what we're gonna do for today. And you can see we've got an outline and then we've got our big pile of woody debris. And I'm just gonna layer that in. And we're doing a combination of straw and wood because the straw gets eaten really fast by the fungus and the wood gets eaten really slow. So this gives different varieties of decomposition time, which will hopefully give us mushrooms over a longer period. So it's gonna take anywhere from two to 10 months for this to grow into fruiting bodies. Um, and we'll see, it's an experiment. But we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you how I'm gonna layer in the wood. So true confession time, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and a neat freak and there's part of me that wants to layer all of this wood perfectly in a row, but it doesn't really matter to the fungus. So this is not only a growing opportunity for mushrooms, but a growing opportunity for me. All right, so here we've got um, a layer of wood on top of the straw and the mycelium and this is just a really well inoculated hardwood sawdust with the mycelium, which is like the vegetative part of the fungus. And we're just gonna sprinkle it on in here, probably about half of this, and then we're gonna do another layer of the straw and the wood on top. Oh, 
Well, here you have it, our completed wine tap mushroom bed. It ended up to be a lot taller than we expected, and that's just because of the materials we had available. If you're gonna grow these mushrooms at home, you don't need it to be this tall. It can be um, just a few inches deep, or as I mentioned, you can even grow them from special kits inside your house or apartment. We're expecting that we'll have some fruiting bodies of the fungus, the mushrooms, available to us anywhere from two to 10 months from now. And we'll make sure to keep you posted on how this project turns out. Thank you for watching. See you next time.